was a really quick Instacart order here um, Sunday. I was cleaning my craft room, rearranging it, and trying to organize it and get rid of some things. And it's going to be sev a several day task or probably a couple weeks. But I'm just trying to get it in some working order for this week. And usually when I do a task, I don't like to stop. So um, I was going to fillet or saute some fish right quick and throw some food in the microwave so that's why i didn't go to the store myself and this was easier so um it was a couple of things from the aldi instacart order that i did not were not in stock and i have to see what they are hold on okay surprisingly they didn't have any bananas they didn't have any grapes I've been eating um, smoothies, bananas, and my fruit smoothie in the morning, and I love grapes. So I didn't have any red grapes. So we're gonna start over here. I had some, I got some pineapple. I do cut up my own, and I have one um, over here, but the, I picked up two from Walmart, and I cut the other one up, and it wasn't sweet at all. It wasn't sweet at all. So I'm gonna cut that one up, eat that one too. Cause I go through pineapple really quickly. Uh, the honey wheat puffs. I asked Jason he wanted anything from the store, and he said honey wheat puffs. I wanted some popcorn because JJ ate all the popcorn up. Well, I just bought one box, y'all. I should have ordered a box from Sam's before my membership ended. Um, I may renew it. I don't know. Anyway, they didn't have any um popcorn, so I knew I could make my own, which is over here. Because I was thinking about doing it last night, but I just didn't feel like it. And um, put some of this popcorn seasoning on it. So this was a substitution for popcorn because I always make my own, if that makes sense. Okay, so I got some tilapia. Um, I just got one bag of it. And I'm going to do like quick, easy meals for myself. Like, you know, cook the fish. I showed on my community tab and Instagram and Facebook. I just seasoned it with some Obey pepper, garlic powder, maybe some onion powder. I don't even know what I'd be putting on y'all. Really quick in the pan with some EVOO. And I'll put a, um, a little bit of starch. And then I'll put, I had sweet potatoes that day. Y'all, the sweet potato cubes that, that comes in the bag at Aldi, I didn't even know they even had that. That, that's pretty good. So I had some of that cinnamon sugar. I sprinkled just a little bit because I haven't been eating sugar. Um, cinnamon sugar on my plate um, that comes from the Dollar Tree comes together. Just a little bit of that and honey. You probably only need honey. But I was going to add the, when I saw the cinnamon sugar in the drawer and I was reaching for the cinnamon. Then I was like, ooh, let me try this. And it was good. I just put just a little bit, y'all, and saturate it. So the steamable cubed sweet potatoes, a little bit of that. So I put some type of starch, brown rice or something, and then I will microwave or steam or cook or if I have leftover grains or something like that, I'll put that on my plate. So quick little dinner. That's, that's probably what I do this whole week. And then if they have tacos or something, I will have fish tacos. Okay, so um, flounder, I got two things of that. And that's this is actually what I cooked when you saw on that picture, flounder. And um, I asked for, they were out of stock of the chicken frozen chicken breast. I already saw that on the Aldi app, Instacart. So I said tenderloins and they didn't have any tenderloins. So they substitute for the garlic and herb season. Chicken breast, I normally don't get this because I feel like you can you can season it yourself and this costs more. But anyway, I got this anyway. I need to go to Sam's or... No, you know what? I need to go to the meat market. I have chicken, but I need to get some more. Okay, so we got some cooked in shell shrimp. And I got two bags of this. And I actually asked for the raw, already peeled medium shrimp, I believe. But this was a substitution as well. There's the other flounder. Um, if I try this, it's been a while. I know I purchased it before. The steamed broccoli and stir fry. They didn't have any regular broccoli in stock of stir fry. No, any regular steamed broccoli. And then this um, Asian season medley. Um, broccoli, carrots, corn on the cob, sugar, snap peas, and Asian seasoning. I got just one of those. And then this was a substitution because I asked for the 80-20. 
and she gave me this, the 8515. And I actually asked for, no, this may be my substitution, but I didn't realize it was the chub roll. No, I asked for the 90, 9010. And she gave me this. I don't know what I did, y'all, but I thought I asked for the 9010. And then a case of water, and that's it, y'all. That's it. That should hold us over. I do need to do like a big meat stock up, and I need to, um, but I'm gonna wait because they're talking about more snow and I don't know if the power's gonna go out. And I wanted to tell you guys, because I really haven't been filming too much, but it's gonna seem like that when y'all see the, all these grocery hauls at one time. Um, Cause I'm behind, what I was gonna say? Y'all get y'all a Mr. Heater, Mr. Heater, Mr. Buddy Heater. They got several different names, it's the same thing. Get y'all one, cause we had to pull ours out when the power went out for about five some mm -hmm. hours. Um, and it kept us warm. We didn't need to have the biggest one. And for our space of our house, we probably need a larger one. But uh, my mama, she got her one. I'm glad she got her one. And I think she ordered her some propane because it's hard to find propane right now too, y'all. So if you like it, if your power goes out and snowstorms or ice or whatever, get you one because it kept us warm. But anyway, um, it was really easy to use. And my husband wasn't home and I did it on my own. So Anyway, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.